Hi there, this week is a case study on how to get rid of long-term nerve tension in the back of the leg or sciatic pain. Uh, the individual concerned had low back surgery uh, approximately a year previous and that was a success. She had no ongoing back pain from that but she subsequently developed an ache in the back of her thigh and quite a bit of tension as well. Uh, when I looked at her it was clear to see that there was tension in the sciatic nerve and to give you an appreciation of what it was like when she sat with her legs straight out in front of her she was unable to assume the upright position. Now uh, nerve tissue is the one tissue in the body which is the slowest to heal and with stretching it can take quite a long time to reduce tension so I knew that it wasn't going to be a process where she would get overnight results. I saw her every couple of weeks for a period of approximately two months and uh, she was able to do most of the work herself in between each session because it, it was mainly focused on stretching and when she came to see me then I was able to do some stretches in certain positions which would be hard to do yourself uh, and, and also I was able to exert a little bit of extra pressure and at the end um, I was actually stretching both legs in a straight leg raise and so it became quite physical so at the end of the treatment uh, she was able to reach forward and touch her toes in that position which I described before sitting with the legs straight out in front so that was a, a great improvement pain was still present in the back of the leg although it had reduced quite a lot uh, the main thing was that the tension had reduced a significant amount her flexibility had, flexibility had improved and so my instructions to her was to continue stretching and subsequently that pain in the back of the leg should ease so what I've got now is um, some stretches, I've got some demonstration of stretches that you could do yourself for this type of problem if anyone had ongoing sciatic pain. What you need to be sure of is that it is from the sciatic nerve, uh, not a hamstring injury that could potentially make it worse so it's important to clarify that first. And in her instance there was no back pain. With these stretches if there is back pain uh, it's best to ease off and do them gently. The second stretch would be an ideal one to do when back pain is present because it's in lying and therefore there shouldn't be any excessive load on the back. So please watch these and if you can pick up a few tips that would be great. Sit with both thighs supported, flex your head, straighten the leg and then pull the toes back towards you and hold for approximately 10 seconds and then gently ease off. In lying next now, support the leg just above the knee, straighten the leg out and hold in that position and then gently lower after 10 seconds. With the one leg out straight in front of you, lean forward, try to keep your low back straight. Both legs out in front now, this is quite uh, this is a greater stretch. Gently leaning forward and hold. Remember that nerve tissue is quite irritable, so if you overdo it with the stretches, then that can cause quite a lot of extra pain. So it's important to do these stretches in the sequence in which I've shown them because that is the progression which they should be done. And so good luck and thanks for watching.